What's up, everybody? I'm Kayvon. I'm Shannon, and welcome to our travel channel, New York Nomadic. So we spent the past 75 days backpacking all throughout Thailand, and we've had some pretty fun, crazy, and epic adventures. But today, we're taking you back to the very start of our Thai journey. It's a long one, so let's jump in. In this video, we'll not only embark on this 35 hour long journey together, but because Shannon and I took two completely separate routes from either side of the US. Across the world. We can now give you our honest review on not one, but two airlines for long haul flights. And no, sadly we are not sponsored by any of these airlines, but today we'll be flying with Japan and Qatar Airways. Towards the end of our video, we will also be sharing our first impressions of Bangkok with you guys. My honest first impression of Japan Airlines was how spacious economy was. I couldn't believe how comfy I was in my seat. I thankfully lucked out with a window and an open seat next to me for my longer flight. Japan Airlines impressed me even further with the delicious economy food options. I opted for the salmon teriyaki and it was so delish. Also, I have no idea what those noodles are, but I wish I did because they ended up being so good and I think about them all the time. To finish off the very filling meal, we were even given Haagen-Dazs ice cream. I have never in my entire life been taken care of so well in economy. On the other hand, I can't quite say the same about Qatar Airways, although that's a personal preference. However, I thoroughly enjoyed the food on my first flight. I was just too out of it to record. I give them an overall 8 out of 10 for comfort and food. I sadly spent about two of my five hour layover in Tokyo in the bathroom. If the bathrooms in Japan alone don't convince you to visit, I guess the country does offer quite a bit more. It's definitely on our bucket list. It's been about, let's see, 15 hours of travel so far. And I have nine left about. Another hour until my flight, then seven hour flight, and then maybe like an hour, an hour and a half to get to my hostel. But we're so close. Finally landed in Qatar 12 hours later. I immediately went to do some shopping since I happened to be there a while and they were hosting the World Cup. The airport was very impressive, beautifully decorated with art sculptures, and it had tons of shops and restaurants to choose from. We're in Thailand, baby. I'm gonna go find my bag, and then a bathroom. And then an ATM, and then we have to figure out if we're gonna take the sky train, be adventurous, or be lazy and just get in a taxi. I haven't decided yet. Now to find the hotel. There's a 7-Eleven right here. I am going to find it. We found it. <laughs> Let's get inside. <laughs> We're in Thailand, baby. Oh, guys, what a journey. So, I had a one hour flight from San Francisco to LA. A four hour layover followed by a 12 hour flight to Tokyo, um, followed by another six and a half hour layover, uh, followed by another six hour flight. I thought it was gonna be seven hours last one, so got here a little quicker than expected. But we're here now. I fell asleep on most of the plane rides here, so I'm kind of wide awake, even though it's 6.30 a.m. Um, but yeah. My skin suffered enough today, so I think I'm just gonna do a little face mask and then just chill in bed for a little while since I can't do anything at this time. And then Kayvon will be here later tonight. He gets in around 6.30 p.m. So I'll probably see him around 7.30, 8, something like that. 
But everything so far has been very smooth. I got a taxi over here, it cost me 500 baht, which is, I wanna say like $14. I know it's 35 baht to one US dollar. And then I'll give you some first impressions of Bangkok in the morning, or in a little while. <laughs> Just a little in my hair. Good morning. Okay, we had a quick little costume change. <laughs> I'm feeling so bloated after all that flying. Does anyone else get like that or is it just me? But the past few times I've flown, I get crazy stomach cramps. I was reading it's because of the air pressure, but everyone I've asked so far doesn't seem to have the same problem. So let me know if you do. I wanna know I'm not alone. <laughs> Gorgeous morning, the sun is out. Ah, let's go get some food. The city was very quiet when I first arrived, but now that Bangkok is fully awake, the hustle and bustle is real. I thought I would have more of a culture shock, and trust me, I did of course, but something about the craziness reminded me of home, which made me feel really good about booking this trip. I'm gleaming with excitement to see what the next 75 days holds. We can't wait to share where the journey all led. We had a better time in Thailand than we could ever have dreamt of. We know it's a very far distance, especially coming from the US, and I don't think we could get much further away. But we hope this video helped ease some nerves we know we had even thinking about embarking on a 30 hour journey here. It's craziness. For real. But it ended up being one of the best and easiest decisions we ever made. And who would have known that we would have even felt some familiarities in such a different place? Thank you guys so much for coming along. Our next video will be all about our first few days settling in and all of the important things you should know when first arriving into Thailand. Stay tuned for the next one and we'll catch you then. Bye-bye. Peace.